It looks like another battalion of ships have come out of the sun during a solar flare, a solar eruption. And um, you may not have even heard that there was even a CME or anything associated with it. They came out of Region 3032 and 3030 on June the 16th. And there is a lot of data that's missing, okay? I want you to know that. A lot of data is missing, but as you can see, let me uh, move myself down a little bit, you all. We're going to look at this a little bit more, um, cover myself up a tad bit. Can you see the ships? Uh, that's what I want to know. Can you see them? Because they're here. It's another battalion of ships that have come out of the sun. And um, it's happening on a daily basis. It's happening on an hourly basis. We don't even know the half of it. We only know what they allow us to see, what information they allow us to gather uh, on our own, okay? Because I know that there is a lot more documentation, a lot more data of these ships that are coming out of the sun. Battalions, look at this. Just, just, just let me, let me, let, let's just count it. Can we just count it? Let me stick myself up here. Let me see if I can um, come over here on this image. Let me see. No, let, wait a second, you all. Welcome. Um, thank you for coming on here. Okay, I'm on here a tad bit. I want to I wanna count the ships because we can count them. There's no reason why we can't count the ships. There, I can put myself right here, you all. I don't have to worry about putting myself out of the way. So, Region 3030, Region 3032, and... Uh, Lots of gaps in the hours during that time. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This one right here is very prominent. And look at these. So there's probably around fifty ships. And if you compare that to the sun, they're just a tad bit smaller than the they're just a tad bit smaller than the earth okay is that's what it is just a tad bit smaller hello everyone hello apple brooks just a tad bit you all let's see i'll let you see that you're on here we see you all yes we do that's right it is yeah it is that's right um yeah i've been coming over here and i've been looking at the um that stereo ahead uv 171 and um, that's all I can see because of the the gap in the data. But we're going to come right over here, you all, to the um, to the iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov. Since uh, they don't have the complete data, they have lots of missing time. Um, I'm going to wait for this product to finish loading. While it's finished loading, I'm going to come over here and. Um, See if I can bring up the comments on this side over here where you're all at. I can. Just wait one moment, please. While I access this data. <laughs> Accessing the data, you all. Let me come over here. Let's look at this, you all. So let's look at this. So it starts off. This, this particular product, the Stereo Ahead UV-171. Uh, I'll show you the region we're looking at. See that you've seen some pop out right there but this is the region um, 3030 and 3032 that's the region and let's look at this let's first let's go back to here you all because um, even if we go like this we can just click 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 um, till it gets a little bit further hopefully it doesn't mess up on us that sign itself is wobbling uh, it really is oh it's gonna blink on us maybe maybe not Trying to see what particular timestamp. Okay, see, there's one already coming out of this sun over here. Just one tiny one, but you, this is not tiny. This is still massive compared, if you use the size comparison of the sun. Now, this is interesting because there really does look like there is something cloaked all around this area. There really, really does. Right around that area but here's one ship let's let's look at the rest if if i can click it if i can click it because there's more 
that's on the 6th. The sad thing is, even on the 6th, let me put this here, even on the 6th, let me um, just do this, they have a lot of the hours. But as you get to the other days, there's lots of gaps. Gaps in the time stamps. A lot of gaps. And you have to ask yourself, why? Why are there, why is there missing data unless you had even more larger battalions coming out of this sun? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna zoom up. You seen that one? Um, okay, this, wh where's the region that opened up? 3030 and 3032. You see those that came out? Look at, look at, see, they're coming out right there, you all. This is the region they're coming out of, 3030 and 3032. They're coming out of region 3030 and 3032. This is, I believe this is that region right here, too. Uh, can you see me, you all, over here? I believe this right here is that region. As it rotates, that's what it is. That's the whole entire region. What is in that region of the sun? Uh, why that region? Uh, because that is the majority of where all of these ships are coming from. See them? 3032 and 3030. These are the regions where you have these battalions of ships coming out. But this is only one timestamp. I'm going to show you what they do to the data. Uh, let's come over here to the 16th because there are lots of gaps. Let me drag it back, you all. So, um, Gina, honey. Yes, Gina, honey. So let's look at this. This is on the 10th. They're like four days regular behind. See, these are different right here. That's on the 10th of June. It's That's around um, nine days later um, than what it is now. That was the 10th. Let me let me do this, you all, because it, this is important. Okay, there was another one coming out of region 3032, 3030 of this sun. And down here at the bottom, I, I, let me see, what region would that be? Let's see what region that one is, you all. I just got to find it. Let me find that region right there. The region at the bottom, I think, is a 3035. That's that region down there. So let's go back to the sun. That's 3035. That's coming out there. And again, 3032, 3030, they're coming out. That's on the 11th. Let's push the button. Hopefully it don't blink. There's more that came out. Let's look at it, you all. You can see them right here. You can see them right here. There really does look like there is something back here cloaked. Let's look at this, you all. These are battalions, and um, we're not getting the full timestamps either. There's big, big gaps in the data. Whoa! Look at this. See, look at this. There's so many of them. You may say, Gina, it's just a... Um, it's a technical difficulty, Gina. That's all it is. Just little. It's not real. It's hello. Something's going on. Something's going on with the sun. There's more than solar flares taking place. There are ships coming out. And you know those lightning strikes that we've been looking at? What if these ships are up there in the sky firing their plasma weapons? What if that, you all? What if they're up there in the sky firing their plasma weapons for one reason or another? Let's come over to the real-time lightning strikes. Um, because you know they got plasma weapons. Okay, there's, there's, there's no reason why they don't have plasma weapons. None at all. Let, just look, 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 look. Okay, let's look at it. It's still ongoing, you all. Don't that look like a battle taking place? It really looks like a battle taking place to me. Uh, it does. Look at the United States. So we're in the crosshairs. We've got a lot of got a lot of stuff going on. And why would let's ask ourselves why would NASA and why would other uh, governmental agencies, the military, want to start watching the lightning strikes? Why would they put such effort into that? Why would they, you all? Because. I think these ships, they got their plasma weapons on them, and I don't know whose they are. If you look back here, look at, look at this part right here. There looks like a, a door or something like that. There's something else behind this sun. Uh, it just doesn't make up. This could even be a smoke screen. Uh, it really could. It could be a smoke screen. i got to get this playing again because it's going to 
blink and I just wanted I don't want you to see it blinking in you all don't um, hello uh, Lua Taras uh, Valencias Valencias um, I'm just waiting you all the winter solstice or winter solstice wish it was winter at times some people do uh, is on the 21st so that's great so let's look at this you all we can uh, see it from region 3030 3032 right there coming right out and I, I know what I was getting ready to do I was going to show the time stamps you see that they just keep coming out this <laughs> this is only look they're only show you fragments of data let me let me get down here I want to see if we can get this shoe I wanted to get back over to the one date um, this is the 12th 13th okay even on the 13th it's at um, seven minutes after midnight okay let's look at this seven minutes after midnight you see that right there on the 14th seven minutes after midnight we have ships coming out of 3032 and 3030 ships they're large ships they're as big as the earth at times and if they wanted to combine themselves they'd be bigger than the earth okay so that's a time stamp right there after midnight let's let's carry on okay let's go to um let's okay so you all come on now watch this it's seven minutes after midnight on the very next day seven minutes after midnight here we got the documentation of the ships again see down here the timestamp right there here's the ships 3032 and 3030 region and then one down here and a few scragglers right here and here they're coming out of all the portals on the Sun they are now let's um let's look at it again you all let's just continue um, we're going to just continue to look at it as it goes because um, we really do we got we got this stuff right here going on and um, ever since I stumbled upon this it don't vibe well with me it doesn't at all it's not natural and really to be quite honest with you to be quite honest with you this ain't natural either when you see ships coming out of the Sun that's not natural not at all I'm trying to get over there to it you all it's blinking okay let's go back here on the 16th look at it 16th you all seven minutes past midnight in region 3032 and 3030 seven minutes past midnight can you all hear me over here yeah that's right um see them why well see that's only what NASA lets us see because you know they got they got some ships down here too that's only what we're allowed to see and we've documented a lot of ships coming out of this region over here too before I've been documenting it off and on when they allow the data to come on here but I want to show you the big gaps in the data if that's all right we're gonna look at the big gap gaps in that timestamp down there because you know a lot more came out than what we're seeing right there a whole lot more let's um let's click it so now it's uh it's 9 30 okay it's 9 30. now it's two o'clock in the morning okay what happened to um what happened to one in the morning what happened to it i don't know what happened to it but now we're at two in the morning let's see now we're at four now we're going to four two hour increments see now they're on two hour increments and different timestamps too they got different timestamps let's look at this yeah there's when you start having missing data that's like somebody who um, erases their hard drive that's what it's like somebody erasing their hard drive is what it's like I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and push this button yeah they edit it I, I'm waiting for this to play uh, I really am so we can just see it okay we're gonna look at it one more time you all let's look at this see it's going really slow and you can look down here they're going through all the hours and minutes the 15 minute increments and all of that they're going through all of that and then um, 
Then we got these. Well, you all can go back on this particular uh, video and you can slow this down on the YouTube if you go to the settings so you can see this sun turn around some more with those ships in it in regions 3032 and 3030. Because they're, they're clearly, they're coming out. Are they part of the solar flares? Is it, what if it's this? What if, what if you all, the, the, um, what are the CMEs that are coming to the earth are actually weapons being fired at the earth from the sun from these ships? What if that? What if um, these ships are here because they don't like what's being done on the earth and they're trying to do some cleanup work or something? What if they're trying to do that? I don't know. But I, I know it's not normal. That's not normal for these ships. And this ain't normal either. Okay, it's not. It's not normal. And... Um, if we are to go to these regions, let me take you to these regions. Uh, if I can, let me let me come over here, you all. I want to um, come over here. What I took some screenshots. Okay, I tried to see if they had detected coronal holes right here. Um, the ASSA detected coronal hole plot on the 16th of June. Nothing. This is a region a 3032 and 3030. See, there doesn't really. It's not really telling. Of what's really on there with this uh, particular product right here it isn't um, I think this is the 30 3032 and 3030 right here also let's look at this um, tried to see if I could see anything inside of them I really did see if I could see anything inside of these regions on these filters because you know they do really good at um, scrubbing all the data see they don't even have it marked out detected filaments well, they're detecting a filament from the region 3032 and 3030 right here. They, they can detect it, but there's ships coming out of there, you all. Come on. There's ships coming out of these regions. Okay, there are. And, of course, you're going to have some filaments, but I think they're one and the same. Now, see, this is pretty neat. You can go to the Soho Gallery, and uh, they got all these pictures right here that you can see. And I think that this is um, invisible cubes, cloaked cubes. Look at this. It also looks like... Um, a great big old ship with a great big window divided like visors or something. I, I just thought these were pretty cool looking. Okay, here's these regions, how you can tell it. It's on the, um, let's see if we got it right here. I don't even know. It's the SRS issue date, uh, 15th of June. You can see the regions right here. 3032 and um, 3030. 98% um, these solar flares. Let's come over here a little bit. One more. Are we on the 16th of June now? Yeah, we are. Look at this. Right here in this area. See, they're watching. The reason they're watching it, I don't think it's just the solar flares is the reason they're watching it. I think they're watching it because we've got ships coming out of it. That's why I think they're watching it. There's ships coming out of it. And um, they don't know what else they can do. I think they're feeling a little powerless. I really do against this um, advanced... Um, force coming out of the sun I, I believe they're highly advanced um, ships they are with the technology way beyond uh, what we've got way beyond what we got you all they are and um, they don't know what they're going to do that's what I think they have no idea what they're going to do about it none uh, and if this is going on my gosh it's non-stop it is non-stop it really is you all non-stop you all don't want to look at that that's right we don't want to look at it you all we don't let me let me put this down here let me put you down this um the iswa link for you all and every time i go off of here that it starts to blink i'm gonna put this down here you can go do this research yourself let me get back to it and namaste let's look at this Okay, it's probably going to blink a little bit more, but that's all right, you all. I just want to let it flow through so you can see where Gina got that information, where she gathered her data. Well, I go search for it. You can search for it, too. You really can. You can just come over here, and you can click into it. Okay, because sometimes when I'm talking about this, they don't flip to the screen. They don't. So this is this product right here. So if you come over here, you'll see this solar area. You want to, you have this right here. This is the one we did look at. 
earlier. This one right here, it has all the uh, regions on the sun right here, and you just follow them around. You can match them up uh, right here. You can. You push that little button right there, and it, it will load it, and it just spin it, but you only got like um, three frames per second that you're looking at, but that's what it does. It just spins it like that, and that's how you can tell uh, the regions that it's coming out of, and then you come over here, and um, you can see other products that they've got, but this is the one you want to get, the um, Stereo Ahead UV 171 is the one you want, and you just push this button right here, just push the button, and you can see if you just push the button, this is all you're going to get, a very slow movement. You're not really going to see much of anything at all on here. You're not going to see any ships, nothing, until you come over here. Wait till it gets all the way to the end, okay? And then come over here and do this drop down. Put 300 in here. That's the max you can put. Uh, number of frames before the date and time. Before um, the date and time, before the very time. So 300 frames back. And then you want to put 20. That's the max. 20 frames per second, and you have to push the apply button. Uh, and it's going to blink like that. Okay, it is. I'm, I'm not going to let you see it blink. It's going to blink like that, and you're going to get a lot more data. You're going to be able to see those ships coming out of the sun, and you can change the dates too. You really can to see those ships. See, and we got a nice, uh, nice, well, nice moving sun with the dates that they have that you can look at, and you'll see these ships. Um, coming out of this area. Boom! There they come. Just battalions of ships coming to the earth. Nothing to worry about at all. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing to worry about at all, you all. I'm just saying that. I really am. No, we got a lot to don't have to worry, but you can certainly be aware of what's happening. Totally aware of what's happening on this earth because something is definitely happening. I feel that you know what has started and it's a very unconventional type of a you know what also very unconventional um, thing that's taking place. Yeah. So this is the sun right there and uh, we got a lot of activity you all and I, I, I'm not sure if um, the earthquake stuff has ticked up either, but we can look at it. We certainly can come over here and see, um, well, what was that right there? We can see if the increase of these also uh, that are taking place, all of these. Oh, I'd like to make that a little smaller, you all. So look at all this activity. And look, this west coast right here. They got a lot of activity going on right here. They really do. Let's look at this. They got a lot of activity right there. And um, let's see down here. Do you got a lot of activity? This, look at that. What? Why is this doing like that? Let's see the do. They got a lot of activity down there. Yeah, they got some bit, somewhat of a lot of activity. Um, what if these ships are also, you know... Wow, look at this area right here along this ridge right there. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Is there anything going on there? I can't see it. Okay, that's fine. So, um, yeah. Lots of activity. Wow, look over here by Japan. That is a ton of earthquakes for one week. Well, that's, that's the, what if these ships... Uh, have some plasma stuff happening in the sky. What if they do? Like this is, uh, they're causing all this plasma. And then what if they're not? What if they're not? Yeah. So, um, that's all I wanted to say. You, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I'm not. I think that, um, I think that, um, more is happening with the sun than we're being told and uh the solar flares and the cmes that are earth directed and stuff let me just got something on my screen earth directed this may this might play a role right here 
It really might. And you know, when those observatories, those lasers point straight up in the air, you think, oh, well, they're taking pictures. What if they're not just taking pictures? Really weren't. What if they're not? What if something else is happening with their... It could be, you all. And this is in my playlist right here, this video. It's under the, um, the NASA ISWA playlist because it's a NASA product. And um, the observatories, they're under the playlist that I have called the observatories and the moon under the playlist I have called the moon and the ships that I've documented. Yeah, say Gina, honey, what, what, you, what ships are you talking about? Let me, let me show you the ships I'm talking about really fast. Uh, if I can, you all. Um, I've got a playlist. Let's look at it right here. So these are all the playlists I've got. Not, I really don't know how to do much of them. This is the observatories. Um, this is video collection of ships right here. And you can see them. I don't know how many I got. How many is in this right here? These are the ones that I've documented right here. You can see them going down through here. How many is in here? Only I've only got eight videos of um, these ships right here. Let's see this, you all. Now, I'm not going to say that these aren't the type that are coming out of the sun because I've captured these ships on the sun, too. Yeah. Let me see what else is on here. Yeah, I've captured these on the sun, you all. So, um, yeah, you can see some of those pictures on my playlist. You can. Um, how did they get here? I think that those are interdimensional ships also. But yet they're here in our skies. So I am going to go. Thank you all for coming on here. And um, these two regions where activity probably is coming from, it is coming from it. Now, there's ships coming out, battalions of ships. Um, so with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. And thank you so much for coming on here. Thank you, moderators. Thank you all for your comments. Um, go check that out yourself. You can, you can see if you search, you'll find the ships on the sun. And you can even go to different timestamps. Have a wonderful afternoon, you all. Thank you.